This is Tim Lackey. I'm building a Mihalik designed AF4G, a 21 foot plywood skiff to use in the shallow creeks of Chesapeake Bay. This is episode 6. Some final steps on the hull panels and epoxy coating the bulkheads. Thanks for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it. So one fallacy of laying this out on the inside of the hull, which is really the only logical way to do it, since we need these stations and bulkhead marks on the inside for assembly. But the, the shear line is also marked on the inside, and that does us no good when it comes to actually installing that piece of trim. And this is that shear line. It's, the, it's just a cosmetic piece. I mean, it's a gunnel. You know, it's like a rub rail, but it really, since the hull and the cabin is all one plane on one side or one piece, that shear strake is really going to define the boat as far as the appearance and to give it that spooky shear line. So that's what that line is for. So I've gone around with a red pen and I've measured down vertically from the very top. I've measured down at every, every mark that I can. Every station, such as this pencil mark, station one, and the bulkhead right behind it, bulkhead two, and every station and another bulkhead or form that I have a, a line, I've measured down to the red line here that demarks the shear line or the shear straight. So I've done that everywhere. And then when I flip this over, I can record all these numbers, all these measurements, and recreate this line on the other side, on both sides of the boat. So when I flip these over, so that the inside faces down. I'll transfer those marks on both sides and then use a batten and draw that shear line in on the outside of the boat. With the measurements I took from the inside, I've remarked this shear line or shear strake on the exterior side of the port hull here. Looks pretty fair to me. The line is a guideline to show me roughly where it goes. So this gives me a starting point. And then from there, I can finalize this curve with the actual material. The general layout looks pretty good. Again, I think it looks flat from about that second seam forward. It just seems kind of flat. And I have to see how that's gonna actually play out when I pull the boat together. So on the starboard side, I already marked all the station marks and bulkheads and pencil on the exterior side of the hull. I used my marks from the edges at the top and bottom for that, just like I did on the port side. Nothing new there. And then I've measured down from the top edge all the way along at every mark. And now I'm just gonna connect them with the batten. And this will strike the shear line or the shear strake or the gunnel, it's all of these things on the exterior of the starboard side. So now, starboard exterior hull. I've drawn the shear line out in red again. Shear strike, you know what I mean by now. Again, it, it just strikes me as being flat up in these forward sections. From here, it looks like a curve. Get down at the eye and it looks flat. I did play with it by eye a little bit, especially back here on station eight. Ended up a little bit below that actual mark because it just didn't, it just wasn't flowing. But it looks pretty good for when I go to fasten that trim, that gunnel, I will work off of that line and adjust as needed from there. But looking at it now, I think it looks pretty good. It looks the same as all the others. I've had that same doubt about the forward section every time I've drawn this line. This is the fourth time now two times, one per side per, per panel. So when I used the port hall to trace the starboard side, a couple places it just got a little bit big because of the way I cut it or whatever. This is the transom. When I had the two sides together after cutting and checking the fit, I used the port side again to mark this with a pencil line that I'm now gonna cut so that it'll be exactly the same as the other side. So I'm just gonna trim this, this is a straight cut. This is another place. This is the forward end of the combing curve leading up to the top of the cabin roof right there, starting just a little bit aft of station eight. I'm just gonna trim it to that pencil line, just a little bit big. So 
Here I've cut that combing line down to the mark. So I think that's pretty good for right now. Probably play with that a little bit more when the when the time's come to finish this off, put trim on. So that's both sides of the hull ready to go. This is the starboard side facing us. It's upside down. See the port side right behind it here. So these are just sitting here ready to go. Final step before I could think about assembling the boat was I wanted to get a coat of epoxy on all sides of the bulkheads in various pieces. So this is the first one. This is bulkhead 12. But I'm just doing a quick coat of epoxy on everything, all the framing members. I'm tipping it off just so that it's as smooth as possible, but I'm not going for a glossy finish or a final finish or anything like that. I've done all these inner or forward facing surfaces. I'm going to stand this up now and do the other side. So it's just a quick first coat. It's not thick. Here's the aft side of bulkhead 12. Now epoxy coated. Spot I missed there on the plywood edge grain. I'll get that in a minute when I have gloves back on. Tried to make it as smooth and even as possible. It's not going to be perfectly smooth. It does raise the grain. It's not The goal isn't perfect smoothness. The goal is coating. But anyway, this is the process for all of these. That's the biggest one and the first one. Move on and do the rest of these. For bulkhead 9.5, I just stayed away from my temporary brace up here so that I can take that off, but I epoxy coated everything else. This is the aft side. The second or forward side of bulkhead nine and a half. Epoxy coated, all the edges are coated, except the bottom. I didn't want it to stick to those two by fours, but I'll get that once they're inverted and ready to assemble the boat. When I glued up the block on the base of the transom here, I made a slight mistake. I pointed this out before. I forgot to let this block hang out just a bit so that it would create a plane from the this angle on the block this this should be able to go all the way to the far corner of that plywood and if i'd let this just hang out a fraction of an inch it would have done that but i only noticed it too late everything was screwed together so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to plane a matching angle onto the bottom of this plywood here shouldn't take long at all That's more what we were going for. This took just a couple of passes with a power planer so that it's not square beyond this angle anymore. And I'll have an opportunity to clean this up a little when all is said and done, but the bottom will fit flat on here. Bulkhead 19.25. This is the forward side facing up right now. This actually is supposed to have a cutout down here to provide access underneath the motor well cover. I'll have to cut that out once this is cured. I thought about it earlier and forgot. And I'm about to move it over and prop it up and epoxy the after side. Take a little walk through the hall of bulkheads here. Got all these bulkheads epoxy coated. This is the transom. I just did the inside of this. The exterior will get sheathed later on. And then all these other bulkheads I've done all sides. The only thing that's not epoxy coated at this time is the bottom edges where I've got them resting on some scrap lumber. Just a thin basic coat of epoxy to sort of coat all the wood, all the plywood, all the frames inside and out. This bulkhead here has a temporary brace across the top so I, I've left that uncoated and this is bulkhead 19.25 
the aft end of the cockpit. This is the aft side of that bulkhead and bulkhead two up forward. So good coat of epoxy on all this. Went for even coverage, not going for a gloss coat or anything like that. Done all the edges where the hull will rest when it gets wrapped around these bulkheads. And I think this is the first time that we've been able to see all of these pieces together. And the transom, bulkhead 12, bulkhead or frame 9.5. Bulkhead 19.25 and bulkhead 2. Two temporary frames here, one for the bow, one for the stern. The taller one goes up in the bow. The other one goes somewhere about halfway down the cockpit. 